Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna teach you how to do this cool effect, so let's start. So here I have four pictures, In the layers you can find there's four layers. There's a book picture, a wave picture, a city picture, and a background picture. So all these pictures are gonna be links in the description below, you can download it anytime. So let's start with the book picture. So as you can see here, I selected it using the pen tool. So after you finish selecting very precisely the book, just right click on it and make selection. And the feather is zero, press OK. And now you have a selection, you go to the layers and press on mask when you have selected the book layer. And now you eliminated the background. So let's bring the background, which is this layer behind the book. And let's enlarge the background, click on it zoom out Control t to scale and transform and make it fit the artboard and pull it down slightly and now get the crop tool and bring back the background from down and press enter and now just pull the book down that's it and now pull the wave up on top and let's edit the wave so go to edit transform and flip horizontal because we want to place it here on this page. So control T, make it small. And let's enlarge it slightly more, maybe like this, because we only need this part of the wave. We don't need the extra part. This looks good. So now just zoom in and make sure this point here is on the corner of the book. Okay, this looks fine. So now we just need to cut it, get the pen tool. And now let's cut the wave. Okay, and now right click, make selection. Okay, and now zoom out and now get the lasso tool and just hold up to get the minus sign and remove these blue areas. And hold shift to get the plus sign and just add more of the white. Okay, this is fine. So now go to select, select and mask and put the radius on, smart radius and just increase it until we have the best look. This looks fine. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so this looks fine, I think. So we just need to click on decontaminate colors. It becomes whiter. And now with this tool here, you have the plus or the minus sign. When you hold alt, you get the minus sign. So just with the plus sign, just add these areas which disappeared. And now when you added these parts, get the minus sign which is holding alt and make sure the hardness is a bit higher. And now just We'll just cut these parts here precisely keep the part which is flowing and now hold alt to get the minus and remove this part here which is looking bad and i think this is fine so press ok and now let's place it properly and now go to edit transform and wrap or warp and just fix it so it can be on top of the page exactly this looks good so press enter and now go to layers and on the mask get the brush on the black and make it a bit smaller put the hardness on full and just remove these excess okay 
And now on the layers, let's copy this, Control J, and just place the copy on this gap here. And let's go to the opacity and decrease the opacity. Now get the brush and make sure you're on the mask and zoom in and just remove all of this part because we just need the part where it fills the gap, this gap here. So just remove the unneeded areas. Okay, and now go to edit and transform and warp again. And this time let's try to fix this part here on the gap. Let's increase the opacity. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to continue this line, the line of the waves, the same way the page is going. So let's go to layers, and now I think I got it. So go to the mask, and get the black brush, and just remove, and put it on 0% hardness, and start blending in. Just remove from this area, and start blending in. So this looks good, so let's continue, put the city on top and what we need to do now is to put the city on the next page. So we need to make a selection of the next page. Make the city smaller and place it here for now and get the pen tool and zoom in on the next page and let's select the second page. Press here, let's zoom in more so you can make it precisely. Okay, after you selected it, right click on it and make selection and press OK. And now press on the book and press Ctrl J so you can copy only the selected area. So now what we have to do is we have to bring the city on top of it and decrease the opacity till about like 50 so we can see behind. And let's place it in a nice position where everything fits. So now put the opacity back and then hold control and press on the page. Let's name the page first so we don't get confused. Page. And now go to the city and press mask. And now that's what you have. So press on the mask of the city and get the brush and put it on white because we want to reveal things. And just reveal everything on top. And now let's get the pen tool and select the cities precisely. Okay, this looks fine. So now press right click, make selection and press OK. And now we have the selection of the city, so press on select and inverse so it selects the opposite of the city. And now increase the opacity slightly and get the brush and put it on black and press on the mask of the city and just remove everything here. And here with the selection we went inside the page, so make sure you put it on 100% hardness and just keep keep a little bit colored here okay and now zoom out 
and we have this effect so turn on the opacity 100 and bring back the book and one more thing before we continue go to wave 1 and ctrl j to copy the layer and just move it here and place it on top of city and rotate it decrease the opacity so we can see behind and place it somewhere nice so this area here the water next to the city can blend in with the wave Okay, this looks good. So now press enter and go to the mask, get the black brush and increase the size slightly to about this much and remove all of this. Increase the opacity to 100 and remove everything which is outside the area. Now increase the opacity and see how it looks so let's decrease the hardness and increase the size and start blending in And maybe decrease the size slightly and put the opacity lower. And give it a couple of touches here and there. Okay, I think this looks fine. So now let's go back and let's give it some saturation. So go to wave one, which is the main one. And go to adjustment layers and put it on hue and saturation. And the saturation put it on like minus 76 and then go back to the layers and hold alt on this one and just drag it on top of the other wave copy 2 and on copy 3 and do a clipping mask for each for this hue create clipping mask for copy 3 and the second saturation create clipping mask and this one create clipping mask so for every part of the wave has a clipping mask now let's continue for the city. Where is the city? This is the city here. So we have to make an adjustment layers and add exposure. And give it plus 2.45 I think. Or 50. Okay. And now we have to create clipping mask. Right click, create clipping mask. So it will only affect the city now. And add adjust another adjustment layers and put levels. And on the levels maybe put it here 45 or decrease this one here till about like 50 or something 48 okay now go to the layers and on the levels also create clipping masks so it will only affect the city so zoom in on the city and get the brush and go to the mask of levels and make sure you have a black paintbrush on and decrease the size to about like 31 and start giving some light decrease the size slightly to 18 maybe increase the opacity to like 74 Keep removing, so maybe decrease the opacity slightly and just decrease the size of the brush and give it more. Decrease it more and just start blending. When you put opacity a little bit less and start doing some clicks, it's, it blends everything. Do a couple of clicks here and there. 
and this looks better so with the exposure press on the exposure and get the black brush again and because as you can see here it adds light so we can remove the light on the back so here we don't need any light get the black brush because it's a white mask you're removing it make sure you have a very dark opacity and add some shadows just like a little bit here and there It's just like another form of levels, you know? Maybe decrease the opacity, it will blend more. And this looks fine. Okay, let's zoom out. And we will have this effect. And before we continue, I think we should do some changes. So I think for the book, it also needs the hue which I added for the wave. So the hue which I added for the three waves, just hold alt and drag it on top of the book and the background. Let it affect the book and the background. And I think this looks better. Okay, so let's continue now. Let's go to the top layer and add an, a layer on top. And now I want to add some smoke. So go to brushes and I added a brush which is called free smoke photoshop brushes So I'm gonna put the link in the description below you can download it anytime. So put the size maybe about This much yes and go to brush settings and Just change the angle till about 52 and add one you see you need to color it So hold alt and with the eyedropper just take from the color of the smoke nearby and color it or maybe take out one which is a bit lighter and add one one more like with a different angle here and one more here I think we should change the brush put it something else a different shape and now let's put it here. Okay, so now let's go to the layers the smoke layer I'm gonna name it smoke so zoom in add maybe one more here okay and now get the eraser and put a normal brush a hard round and decrease the hardness and decrease the size and make sure the opacity is 100 and decrease the size slightly more and just erase the smoke here so it appears as if it's going behind this tower and maybe remove the ones here so as if it's coming in between the okay this looks better and I think that's it so now let's add some shadows so we'll go to the book layer and add a layer and put it under it and let's name it book shadow and get the brush and put it on black and put the brush on soft round I think this size is good and just add with the opacity of 48 some shadows behind Click again to make it darker and click here a couple of times to make it a bit darker under the book. I think that's fine. So now we need to add a shadow on top of everything. I'm gonna call it shadow all. So this shadow is gonna be a little bit big and it's gonna come from from here from the light main source so I'm gonna add here hide this mistake here I'm 
gonna remove the ones on top. I think without them is better. Remove the eraser, just erase the ones here. I think this black here is enough. Just get the brush and continue doing it on the other side. And I think we're done here. So as you can see here, I added saturation for all the parts of the waves. There are three parts of waves, wave copy three, and copy two and copy. So there's a saturation for each. And for the city, there's exposure and levels. And for the book and the background, there's a saturation as well, which is similar to the one for the waves. And I added a shadow for the book and a shadow for everything, which is on top, shadow all. And you might see this mistake here. Let's go to wave one and get the eraser and put it slightly lower or maybe get the brush and select the mask of wave one copy and just clean this mistake here. And this looks better. Zoom out. And one last thing, you can go to the shadow all and get the eraser and increase the opacity to about 22% and put it like a 187 size and just add some light here maybe increase the size a little bit more and a couple of clicks and this looks fine and you can decrease the opacity to about like one and add some light here And this looks fine and one more thing you can do you can go to layers and go on top of background and book add adjustment layers brightness and contrast minus 50 and a little bit more brightness and then go to layers again and Control J to copy it and this time or maybe put it this I think this works now go back and go to all shadow shadow all and get the eraser and with 1000 and 8 opacity just click once here and you'll have some maybe make it a little bit less opacity and click and now you can get the brush with the white and increase the size to 300 and put it on 3 and you can just remove a little bit from here maybe decrease it to one and then you can put it on nine and increase the size to about 1000 and click once here and you will have this effect and then get the brush again and decrease it till about 40 or maybe more and with 1% opacity, just do a couple of clicks here. And now we'd go for the city and the levels of the city. I'll put it on black and smaller brush and 26 opacity and just bring back a little bit from here and then put it on a small brush and switch it to white on the levels mask just give some shadows for the building and now I would go for the shadow all I would kind of like Remove this very strong shadow here and also for the shadow of the book I'll remove some of it. You don't need that much. So go for shadow all and get the get the brush and just add a little bit with little opacity. And you have to go to the book here and rasterize it and just add some here on the corner.
And one last thing after all of this, I added here a small shadow under the book with 12 opacity with a black brush and I added here some light with a white brush with also 12 opacity and that's it, 